guys, thanks for joining me. This is your tarot reading for Thursday, the 22nd of January, 2015. And today I'm using the Tarot of the Animal Lords, which I love. Um, I love it partly because of this red. I think it's beautiful, like a beautiful red rose here. But also the elephants. And I've always loved elephants. And I've always felt a real closeness and proximity to the um, Hindu god Ganesh, or Ganesha, which is the... Um, God of really removing obstacles um, and really just powering through and I've always found that very inspirational and I've always found animals in general to be very kind of um, to, to, to be able to express emotion that sometimes human things can't if that makes sense let's see what the cards say for us on this day and what you will be working with so the first card we've got is the king of swords and it's interesting that they've chosen a buffalo here because it's very balanced. And the King of Swords is about balance. He's got his scales there as well. And the King of Swords appeared, I think, in yesterday's reading as well. And that energy continues. The King of Swords indicates that you make good decisions and you can trust your own thinking. The Knave of Chalices. And I think it was the day before, so please excuse me. But the Knave of Chalices is next. And the Knave of Chalices is about learning how to deal with the emotions and being very um, raw and being very fresh in terms of feeling your feelings. So there are some things at the moment that are going on for you. Allow yourself to feel those feelings. Think about what's going on for you and find a constructive way forward. The Seven of Pentacles is... Well, here it's a badger harvesting some honey. And basically, by doing some inner work, by looking at your own feelings, by looking at your ideas and engaging with them and really doing some inventory possibly even on yourself, you really reap the benefits and you can um, get a lot of positives from that inner work that you do. So let's say, for instance, um, I've been really resentful towards someone and I feel really, really angry and I feel toxic and, you know, the poison of that resentment is coursing through me and I, I'm just thinking, God, that person, what, you know, what can I do? And rather than go and go out and slash someone's tires, which people do, that is an option, you know, obviously people on the spiritual path do that less frequently because they have the self-awareness and they're, they're trying to live a life that's not harmful to other people but the feelings are the same so if you do feel those feelings of resentment for instance coming up in you sit down do some inventory what part did you play in causing this resentment you know it's always our part in things that creates these extreme responses so if i was completely in love with someone and i put my heart on the line and they said i'm not interested get lost then i may resent them because it's hurt my pride or it's made me feel that I will be alone forever. And it's those extreme responses within me that are causing the resentment. So a lot of good can be done by doing some personal inventory. It allows you to let go of a lot of things because resentment isn't about the other person. It's always about you. When that person dies, you'll notice an interesting thing. If you resent someone, and I'm speaking from personal experience here, if you resent someone and that, pers that person passes away, you would expect that resentment to be gone because that person is no longer with you. That's not true. The resentment is still there. And that proves that it's an inner thing. So I've gone on, off on a tangent about resentment. This can apply to anything. It can re apply to possibly um, some other character problems that you've got. Maybe you're too interested in money or maybe um, you tend to make silly little mistakes. Or maybe you're jealous of other people. All of those things you can look at and by looking at it today you can make some inroads. One, two and seven is nine. And nine is spirituality. So look at your spiritual truth, look at who you are in reality, and by tapping into that spiritual self, that spiritual anchor within you, you can let go of some of these problems that you have within your personality, within your character. We've all got them, you're not unique in that sense, so this is in no way a criticism, it's a way of moving forward and improving your life. Have a wonderful day, if you'd like a private reading with me, please visit my website, Gregory Scott, and remember to subscribe to the channel.
I'm using the Radiant Rider Weight deck for this reading. Let's see what's coming up. Okay, 